Hello friends, I'm Moon and yes, I know I've been gone for a long time. Well, festivals, vacation, but still after everything, we have something great today. KD Plasma 6.5. So yeah, without any further ado, and yes, all. let's get right into this new update and yes, this wallpaper is so damn gorgeous. Well then, let's begin, shall we? Alright then, so here we are in this beautiful desktop KD Plasma 6.5. Let's just, well... See it again. There we go. Plasma 6.5 latest version from KD Neon. And yes, it is a stable version. You will get this update soon on every system out there. Don't worry about it. It's not in beta. It's at last properly released. Alright then. So let's start with the biggest update. And maybe the first in the whole world of Linux. And that is rounded corners on all sides. Like earlierly, we would be able to see rounded corners on the top bar, like on the top sides, top left and top right. That's it. The bottom ones would be squarish. Well, like pointy, pointy, not rounded. But now, as you can see, we have rounded corners throughout the corners. Like, and this works on almost all system applications. Like, as you can see here. Or let's say we have our file manager. There we go. This is indeed the first, but still the best. But at last, like at last, let's try Ocular, there we go. And now let's move to the other big update. And that is automatic light and dark theme switching. Let me just show you. So let's go to desktop and wallpapers. Now, how can I say this? Like what it does is that you can set Plasma to automatically switch between light themes and dark themes based on the time of day. If it's the daytime, it's gonna be light theme. If it's the nighttime, it's gonna be the dark theme, just like on Android or other, well, better operating systems. You can pick which themes to choose. You can even pick the theme, everything else. And now let's move to the other one, which is the clipboard. Now we have this clipboard pinned items. And now let's say I would like to paste something like this. And now I would like to have this permanently throughout the time, like always. So whatever I copy, let's say, I don't know what to copy. Do I have something? Maybe not. Well, let's say I'm copying this pathway. Control C. And now in the clipboard, I have this. Now let's say if I want to have this always, like even in the near future on multiple days or different days, I can just go with star and it's going to always be here. And now as you can see here, the application permissions and security, earlierly it was used to be just for flat pack applications. But now this application slash permission page allows you to tinker with all the applications installed right now. Obviously, except for system applications, let's say we have Firefox, definitely not, well, a flat pack application. It is native Debian. And we can also, you know, give permissions and deny based on what permissions it needs. Yep, that's how it is. We have a one stop destination to control all application permissions, not just flat packs anymore. And then, in the input devices, well, how can I say this? Like, now you have better drawing tablet support. Like, you know, there are some drawing tablets which have rotatory dials, touch rings, or some of them actually have touch dials as well. Just like, you know, the Pro Art keyboards on, or screen, what was that name? The Pro Art laptop, which has a dial, a touchscreen dial. That's where it actually works. And then we have in, well, let me just unmute it. And now talking about Wi-Fi, well, we have the list of all detected items. Right now, I only have wired connection. Then you can connect to Wi-Fi networks by QR code. Yep, that is easy. If you have an, you know, like if you have a camera on your laptop or computer, you can just connect it using QR codes as well. Or if you want to turn on hotspot of your own from the laptop, then yes, you can do that as well. And now something which I've been actually wanting to, you know, like I wanted this always on GNOME. Like, you see, this is called fuzzy matching. Let's say I want to open calendar. So I'm going to type calendar, you see. But the thing is, let's say I somehow type the spelling wrong. Like, let's say I want to type, well, calendar. I don't even have the application. Let's say spectacle. Spectacle. Even if the spelling is wrong, it will still able to, you know, identify the application I've been trying to search for. Let's say calculator, if it has one, no, it doesn't. Let's say, well, 
KDE connect. Now if I somehow do a mistake, a few, it would still be able to do it as long as, you know, it's not like as long as there are only one or two spelling mistakes, it'll be able to search for it. But if it reaches another level, then it won't be. But still, this fuzzy search, you know, there are always some spelling mistakes when typing for applications and we need them. That is why fuzzy matching is indeed one of the biggest improvements in search and KDRunner functionality. And now the login an animation which you usually see. Let me just show you. Like, yeah, I would like to. Right now, I'm on GNOME boxes. So I'm going to restart. Restart. Yep. This is the animation I was talking about, okay? And there it'll begin. <clears throat> there, this one. The animation, the login and, well, booting animation is now shortened. And the boot times have also been reduced by a significant amount. Right now, as you can see, I'm on a virtual machine. So it's obvious that it's pretty much slower than an actual machine. And then leaving that, we have something even better. Something which I felt on, you know, the difference between my Windows operating system display and this, my Linux. Well, first, I'm going to have to fix the resolution here. Display. Let's go with 1080p. Yep, 1080p. Maybe 25%. There we go. Keep. Now here, as you can see, if you have HDR display, you will get an option where you will be able to tweak, well, enable HDR and now the KVN has tweaked its tone mapping curve which makes HDR appear even better. Well, I've seen it on an actual, you know, like GNOME display. On Windows, I don't get so beautiful colors and such bright display like it's not even HDR and still the tone mapping, the color accuracy is just phenomenal on Linux. And this goes both for GNOME and KDE. And that is why when I say KDE is actually amazing when it comes to HDR display and so does well GNOME as well. Let let me just check it out. I don't even have an HDR display but it feels like one. I don't know how. Maybe it has to do with some color management. It's able to actually automatically create the perfect color management profile. Awesome. And then we have some other refinements or quality of life well, changes. Let's say I go to sleep, then wake up. Come on then, wake up. Okay, looks like I messed up. Yep, I did. Let me just restart it. I don't want to restart it again and again. Okay, then here we are back. Well, you have hi hibernation option available on the login screen, multi monitor, wallpaper setups are now more efficient. And yes, there are a lot of other things as well, which you can see in the description. But yep, I believe that's it for today's video. Like, yeah, those are the major changes which I showed you just now. And to be honest, like, this is pretty much amazing. Like KDE 6.5 is just phenomenal. And it feels like pretty polished. Like you see this floating bottom bar, taskbar, then rounded corners on all four sides. And then this much customizability. It's just phenomenal. I wonder like, you know, the time when GNU 50 will be released and KDE Plasma 7 will be released. Both of them would be groundbreaking, revolutionary in my opinion. Leave me in the comments what do you think about it and yes, what do you think? Which is better, KDE or GNOME? This is GNOME, this is KDE. Leave me in the comments what do you think which one is better. To be honest, I love GNOME. But GNOME is just pretty simple. It's giving you everything out of the box. While KDE is very functional and customizable. Both of them have their pros and cons but just as a personal preference, I prefer GNOME. What do you think? And yep, I'll meet you next video. Till then, I'm Moon signing out.